wasn't just about removing the food. It was about removing negative energy, removing people, removing situations. Han meditation. So we just got through Ramadan, guys. I'm not going to say it was the most perfect, <laughs> but we got through it. And we did make some mistakes along the way. No one's perfect, but that was our first time doing it. And it wasn't an experience. It was. It started off without us even realizing that it was Ramadan. My wife, Kelly, she's very attuned to God and she's very, very attuned with her intuition. And one night we were just driving down the road. It was dark out and we saw the crescent moon. That day we hadn't even eaten that much that day. We skipped breakfast. Or I, I believe Kelly made me breakfast, but she skipped it and she just mm -hmm. felt like she wanted to fast. So she's mm -hmm. like, I want to fast. I want to fast. I was like, okay, I want to fast too. Next thing you know, she was like, I just wonder when Ramadan and she looked it up. It was Ramadan. And we saw that crescent moon, the, the sliver, the beautiful crescent moon on the clear sky. I can't tell you guys how clear it was to me that this is a path that we needed to take. And so we just decided, hey, let's start doing Ramadan this year and see how it goes. Now, the beginning to me, it noticed that it was pretty hard in the beginning. And then the more you started to do it, the more the days go on, it starts to get easier. You start to get more energy. And at first, I'm not going to lie, whenever it was nighttime, I started gorging food. I was eating anything and everything in the refrigerator. It was never enough. I was like trying to make up for the food and I'm working out as well. So it was such an interesting experience for us doing it. But I really felt the presence of God and the spirituality throughout the whole process. And I really felt like what was needed to happen during that time is removing people from my life that didn't need to be there. It wasn't just about removing the food. It was about removing negative energy, removing people, removing situations, removing myself from different things that didn't involve God, that didn't involve my beliefs, that didn't involve me being the best person that I could be. So we really took that that time to just focus on our goals and focus on God. And guess what? At the end of Ramadan, one of our clients even let us go. And I was like, you know what? It doesn't matter to me because that is what God wants. And I don't even want someone who doesn't want to work with us at all either. So, but I know that we'll be fine. And that is such a beautiful experience. And I feel like God is just telling us even more to, you know, what? just focus on spreading the word of God, focus on doing the channel, focus on what's important in your life, because this is a moment in time that you're never going to get back. You're always going to be looking at this time like, wow, that was so much fun. What we did before we even knew anything about Islam. And now look at us. I picture us going to Mecca, making a pilgrimage there. Mm -hmm. It's just, I have a lot of visions in my brain that are happening right now that I don't know if they're going to come to fruition, when they're going to happen, what's going to happen. But it's just such a fun and beautiful experience. You want to say a little bit about your experience, Kelly? Mm -hmm. We'll talk about the end too, but just talk about the beginning. And Yeah, the beginning, it was just very very interesting for me to look up when ramadan was going to be starting and then it was the very first day of it and i was just like wow and then once we both said hey i think i want to try fasting and we're like oh hey i think i want to try fasting and then it was just like we just knew this was something we wanted to do and try out and it was going to be good and i say maybe the first week or so was a little tougher with the stomach pains and the can't stop thinking about food <laughs> and almost slipping in the pantry and eating food before you even knew it. Yeah. Almost. But it overall just kept getting better and better. And it was almost like in retrospect, I can see now, but it was like the whole month. It was just, it almost like you feel untouchable, unstoppable. Like you just know you're with God and not in an ego way. I mean, un untouchable from shaitan, like, you know, I didn't even realize it because it wasn't until the end of Ramadan, actually just just now that I found out from a lovely commenter that the shaitan is locked up during Ramadan. And so once Ramadan's over, probably going to be coming with full force to make up for that last time. But looking back on that, that's really how the month felt like nothing could bring me down. Nothing can take me away from my path with God and being the best version of myself and spreading light and 
once it was over, I got hit hard by Shaitan, I have to say. <laughs> but moving past that now and having better discernment in my heart to know that. And man, that is definitely real because I'll tell you, it was just like a full switch as soon as after the eclipse. And I think it was really cool how the eclipse happened and lined up with the final day of Ramadan. And I think there's a lot to say there because, you know, the eclipse is, it's like a, a lens, a passing through of a lens and a transformation. It represents a transformation. So it's like you can do what, learn what you learn through Ramadan and, and take it with you and be ready for the transformation because transformations only happen through those tough periods it's transformations aren't going to happen when you're doing everything the same and and not trying to grow and not trying to you know face the bad bad things you need to get over transformations happen in those deep deep depths of time when you need to conquer and when you need to get over all the things that you need to get over with so you can transform into a fully new person fully new life so it was very special. And looking back, I absolutely felt closer to God and protected. Yeah. And like Kelly said, I mean, I didn't even know that until one of our commenters said it. So guys, that's why it's so important to me, because it's like we have this beautiful community of people that are helping us and guiding us. And you guys are a part of our journey. So we look at your comments. They're so nice. They're so beautiful. They're so eloquent. These are the kind of people that we like to have around us. We like people that are beautiful, that are nice, that are eloquent, that can speak well, that can articulate the information that's in their brain out onto this platform that we call YouTube, because those are the kind of people that really make a difference. I mean, anytime we have a question, you guys are there. You guys are there to answer it quickly, you know, and respectfully. And, and it's just so beautiful to watch this whole transformation and we want you guys to know that you guys absolutely are a part of our journey and that's why we're working so hard to make this happen and and let you guys into our lives and be open and honest because no one's perfect but we're trying to do this and we're trying to just let god lead us in the right direction and wherever god leads us is where we're going to end up so we truly appreciate you guys just you watching the video, liking it, subscribing, commenting. If you made it this far, that's so beautiful. And we love you guys. That's all you need to do. But if you do want to donate, you absolutely can. And our PayPal or Cash App link in the bio. Thank you guys so much for being here. We do appreciate you guys. And we love you guys so much. We love you very, very much. Thank you so much. Immense, immense gratitude for this beautiful community we've been growing. Thank you for watching. And we'll see you, see you in, in the next, next video. video.